Hallo zusammen! Finally! The guys in Rammstein have released their first new single since Mein Land on their greatest hits compilation Made in Germany and that was released in 2011. Eight years ago. So far it's safe to say that their brand new single Deutschland, which means Germany, provokes many people once again, so in a way nothing new on that end of the line. But, of course, we can talk about the lyrics, what they translate to in English and how they could possibly relate and fit to what's shown in the highly effed up music video. And I mean that in a good way, honestly. I mean, what a freaking complex and great video that is. Alright, alright, let's talk about Deutschland by Rammstein. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to include snippets or portions of the video and the song in this video. But don't worry. If you have two screens, put this video on one screen and the music video on the other screen. That way you can easily listen to the song and jump to the respective parts I'm talking about while watching this video on the other screen. A very first cool stylistic device that runs through large portions of the almost five and a half minutes long track is the use of what I call ping pong statements or parrot vocals. And because they are used very often, they are a trademark element of the song, a part of the song's backbone I'd say. Till Lindemann sings a word and it's being repeated and played with in the breaks between this and a new word. This becomes apparent right away in the very first and also very distinct line. Du, du hast, du hast, du hast. You, you have, you have, you have. Which of course is a self-reference to their 1997 hit song Du Hast. And as I've already explained in my respective analysis video of that awesome song, the sound of those two words without any other context implies an ambiguous meaning. To cut it short, it could either be understood as Du Hast, you have got, or Du Hast, you hate. As you can see, the latter option is spelled differently, but they do sound exactly the same. This is a very good example of how focused and condensed Till Lindemann's lyricism can be. The second line is a semantic continuation of the first one. Again, we have the parrot vocals, meaning the repetitions in the background. Combined, these two lines mean Du hast viel geweint. You have cried a lot. Im Geist getrennt. Separated within or inside the spirit, meaning mentally separated. Im Herz vereint. Unified inside the heart, meaning emotionally. This contrast between rationality and emotions is a recurring factor in the song, which basically is about Germany and the very diverse history we've been and gone through as Germans. I think Till refers to a sort of cognitive dissonance many Germans still have regarding Germany and feeling German. From my experience, many Germans have a hard time feeling something like, well, call it national pride, which is not to be confused with pure nationalism, by the way, or feeling good about being German because of obviously what's happened in the past. This would also correlate with many scenes in the music video. For instance, it shows execution scenes during World War II and the Third Reich, which are subject to much, much debate on various levels at the moment. And without going into too much detail regarding this, I personally am very sure that Rammstein would never implement such scenes in order to mock victims of the Holocaust, especially considering it's pretty safe to say they rather belong to the left political spectrum in comparison. According to a couple of interviews and especially their own song Links 234, which states this musically as well. I mean, of course it's highly provocative, and that's supposed to be, because, you know, it's Rammstein, after all. Duh. Since Still basically concludes this contrast with Im Herz vereint, I think the lyrical eye likes being German, but they are still aware of what happened and what's supposed to be prevented from happening again. I believe this is pretty much the big meta message of the song as a whole, if you will. It's totally okay, it's totally fine to feel Deutsch, German, but it's also important to know about the past and being aware of that. Next up, he mentions the long history Germany has had. Here's a little short and brief history lesson if you want. The country you know as Germany, Deutschland today, exists like this since 1990. However, there were loads of different incarnations of Germany before, also under slightly different names. Apart from long, long ago Germanic times, which are addressed at the beginning of the video, Till and the band tackle Der 30-Jährige Krieg, the 30 years war, which happened from 1618 to 1648. 
It very, very roughly had to do with Catholics fighting Protestants. Another one that comes to mind immediately is Das Heilige Römische Reich Deutscher Nation, the Holy Roman Empire of German Nation, which rather was a cluster of many little territories and regional states than a single big country. And believe it or not, it existed from 962 AD to 1806, so more than 800 years. We should also mention Das Deutsche Reich, the German Empire, which existed from 1871 to 1918. Then we have the Weimar Republic, die Weimarer Republik, which lasted from 1918 to 1933, which was a republic, as the name actually hints as well. And then we have the Third Reich, which lasted from 1933 to 1945 under the reign of Adolf Hitler. Throughout the video we also see certain scenes which seem to be located or take place in an office-like room. This refers to the Stasi, the Staatssicherheitspolizei, the secret police in the GDR, the former Second Germany, the DDR. The way it looks in this scene also refers to the former GDR president Erich Honecker. As you might know, the Germany we know today was separated into two different Germanys from 1949 to 1990. There was West Germany, the Bundesrepublik Deutschland and East Germany, the Deutsche Demokratische Republik. And in 1990 they reunified to the Germany we know today. Of course there is much more I could say about Germany's history and references made in the video and the song itself, but one more thing I'd like to refer to is the Germania. As an old old allegory figure she has portrayed the personified Germany if you will. Interestingly enough though, the intended meaning of her as a figure has shifted quite a lot during various times in the German history. For instance, around 1848 she was seen as a progressive, positive figure, leading Germany into a bright future. She later became more nationalistic during the German Empire and she was even used for war propaganda in those days. And of course, in a way it's interesting that the lady in the video is black. I'm personally not too sure what this could refer to, but maybe you've got a constructive clue. I don't think it's about racism and how Germans feel about black people because when I think of the vast, 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 vast majority of Germans I personally know and that I know of from media and whatnot, they don't have anything against strangers and, well, people with a different skin color or something like that. Not at all. Anyway, coming back to the lyrics. Wir, wir sind, wir sind, wir sind, we, we are, we are, we are sind schon sehr lang zusammen, and then ihr seid, have been or are together for a long time now, you are, dein Atem kalt, so kalt, your breath cold, so cold, das Herz in Flammen, so heiß, the heart in flames, so hot, du, du kannst, you, you can, ich, ich weiß, I, I know, wir, wir sind, we, we are. Ihr, ihr bleibt. You, you stay. Even though these lines only consist of a few words, they are quite cryptic even, or enigmatic I think. The contrast between these two sides is really interesting. We and you, us and them pretty much. Again, I'm not too sure, but it could refer to us Germans existing in the here and now, the present, we are, and that we'll also exist in the future, you stay, but maybe in a different way, in a different society, who knows. Neutrally speaking, there are always changes in the way we live and that's certainly also inherent in culture and what culture is. On the other hand, it wouldn't be such a strong semantic contrast that way though. The chorus once again depicts the inner conflict some Germans have regarding their national identity and how they feel about being German in 2019. Deutschland, mein Herz in Flammen. Germany, my heart in flames, will dich lieben und verdammen, want to love you and condemn you. Deutschland, dein Atem kalt, Germany, your breath cold, so jung und doch so alt, so young and yet so old. If you ask me, very cool thought-provoking lyrics. The end obviously relates to what I've mentioned about Germany's history and the cold breath could relate to bad or negative things people from outside of Germany sometimes hear about how Germans seemingly are. It basically means to me that there is both light and shadow regarding the way the world looks at Germany and what different groups of Germans have to say these days and how they tend to voice their opinion. 
Many people feel positive and like home here, and also German in their heart, but we also hear a loudly barking group of people who don't want to or accept a multicultural group of people, a multicultural society in any way, shape or form. Now that I think about cold breath, it could also refer to the Cold War, der Kalte Krieg, during the times of the two separated Germanys, which I've just tackled. Either way, the chorus continues as follows. Deutschland, deine Liebe. Germany, your love. Ist Fluch und Segen, is both a blessing and a curse. Deutschland, meine Liebe. Germany, my love. Kann ich dir nicht geben, I can't give to you. Deutschland, Germany, Deutschland, Germany. Deutschland, meine Liebe kann ich dir nicht geben, could refer to people who feel misunderstood in their national pride and how they are, well, allowed to show it. And if they are allowed to show it, they might feel a bit suppressed by others because they might say, oh, well, you're a nationalist and you know those things they have a strong appreciation for their country and their culture and well their german identity but they might feel like they aren't allowed to show it publicly and neutrally speaking this doesn't necessarily have to be associated with bad things for instance we all know when the german national football team plays fans might very well shout something like deutschland vor noch ein tor go germany score another goal now off to the second verse Ich, du hast. I, you have. Ich will dich nie verlassen. Du weinst. I don't ever want to leave you. You cry. Man kann dich lieben. Du liebst. One can love you. You love. Und will dich hassen. Du hast. And want to hate you. You hate. This is exactly what I mentioned earlier about the sound of du hast versus du hast with a double S. Überheblich. Überlegen. Arrogant, superior, übernehmen, übergeben, taking over, handing over, überraschen, überfallen, surprising, hijacking. Deutschland, Deutschland, über allen. Germany, Germany, above everyone. No surprise here, this line is one of the most critical ones for many people, I could assume. It indeed strongly reminds of the historic statement and I quote, Deutschland, Deutschland, über alles. Über alles in der Welt. Germany, Germany, above all, above everything in the world. This is a part of a verse in the German national anthem We Don't Sing Anymore, and it's commonly associated with the motto of the Nazi reign as well. Invade and reign hard to be the first, the mighty leader in the world and be better than everyone else. Oppress them and whatnot. Be above them all, so to speak. The bridge features even more words that begin with the prefix über, above. They translate to this. Du, übermächtig, überflüssig. You, overpowered or superior, and superfluous or unnecessary. Ich, übermenschen, überdrüssig. I, overman or übermensch, wary of something. Wir, wer hochsteigt, der wird tief fallen. We, the one who flies high, will fall deep down. Ihr, Deutschland, Deutschland, über allen. You, Germany, Germany, above all. The lyrical I clearly belongs to the we instead of the you, the others, so I think they don't really agree with the Germany, Germany, above everything and all speech. This also correlates with the song Mein Land, which translates to my country, and it's an ironic take on the whole oh, this is my territory, you're not allowed in here thing. I personally think Till has tried to address that there is an inner and an outer, a public conflict between how different Germans perceive their own German identity and how they show that to other people, how they treat others as Germans in their own society in Germany. All this is also underlined by showing historic events and referring to them, of course in a more abstract and creative way, but hey, and the heavy use of personal pronouns, indicating various perspectives not only here, but throughout the song. If you want to check out my immediate first reaction to the song, click here and also feel free to watch my other videos about Rammstein songs, what they are about and more. Thanks for your interest in this song as well and of course in Rammstein's first new album in 10 years, which is gonna be released on May 17th. Thanks for watching everyone, I'm your vlog Dave, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.